So students are often asked to compare ammonia, nitrogen gas, and hydrogen gas, compare their boiling points. So let's take a look at the boiling points and why they appear like this here. So first off, there are two things that we're going to consider. We're going to look at intermolecular forces like hydrogen bonding or London dispersion forces and the mass of the molecule. We'll look at the molecular weight. So these are the two big factors that we need to consider when we order these in terms of their boiling point. So first off, intermolecular forces, both hydrogen and nitrogen, they're nonpolar. They don't have a positive or negative side. But ammonia, because this nitrogen here is more electronegative than the hydrogens, and we have a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry, this is going to have hydrogen bonding, an intermolecular force, a very strong intermolecular force. So here's the molecular geometry. And you can see here's the nitrogen. The hydrogens have been pushed down here. So this is a polar molecule. We can even visualize that where the red's a little more negative and down here more positive. So these molecules are going to kind of pull together, be attracted to each other. It's going to be harder to make it boil. So ammonia, that's going to have the highest boiling point, negative 33.1. That's a lot warmer than negative 195.8. For hydrogen gas and nitrogen gas, H2 and N2, when we compare these, they're both nonpolar. So they have London dispersion forces. They'll be very lightly attracted, but really it's the molecular weight. H2, hydrogen gas, about 2.02 grams per mole. Nitrogen, about 28.02 grams per mole. So nitrogen has a much larger molecular weight, and that's why it has a higher boiling point than hydrogen. So that's how we can classify or order these three molecules, NH3, N2, and H2, by boiling point. Looking at the intermolecular forces, in particular that hydrogen bonding with ammonia, and then looking at the molecular weights here of these two nonpolar molecules. Note that N2 does have a greater molecular weight than NH3, but that hydrogen bonding there really makes these kind of stick together, and it takes more energy to boil. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.